Uh, Chris R, AST is responsible for the 165 million shares for dividends. The other over that are on the shorts. Yep. And if AST is full, like, so Next Bridge delivers those shares to their uh, transfer agent, AST. And the transfer agent gives them to everyone who's registered and anything left over, they give to the DTCC to then hand out to all the other brokerages. Here's the thing. If AST is full, then none go to the DTCC which means nobody at any of the brokerages will get a single share. And that tells me that those of us who have QCIP numbers in our accounts where there should be a NextBridge share probably have a synthetic. And they just can't give us a NextBridge share because the NextBridge shares don't have a QCIP. There is no QCIP. It's a private company that's unregistered. There's no QCIP. So, uh, those gray sales, I think, are 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 going to pick up. I mean, they'll have until the 28th to get all those sold because the S1 said that those shares are supposed to be canceled and gone. That means this year. So if there's any existence next year, proof that, that they fucked up. Kevin Rayonen, Houston. What say you to the idea of Schwartz negotiating with Acme for the purchase of the remaining allocated shares at a fixed price? Acme gets capital enough and enough to uh, throw investors a dividend. Um, I mean, it's it's a it's a novel idea, right? So the idea is, you know, I, I don't. They never they never told me I can't say next bridge. So not next bridge exists. They never said. So I'm gonna say next bridge. Um, if next bridge were to say, hey, Schwartz. I have another 335 million shares that are authorized. I can sell you those 335 million shares for a thousand dollars each. And then they raise 335 billion dollars in capital. Like who has that amount of capital on hand? Nobody, right? And the shorts use that gobble up the shares or whatever. And uh, you might sell them like, you might call them a class C share or something. And then the gobble all is up, replace things. I don't know how they would do it all. And uh, then everyone gets some sort of next bridge out of it. Problem is, right? What do you do with that when it's done? Do you capitalize and make the company become a viable oil company? I mean, you get more cash on hand than any uh, company in the history of man. You can do, you could. You could buy Tesla probably at that point. Um, or do you turn around and just give everybody a dividend? Okay. All of you 500 million shareholders, here is a, you know, $400 dividend or whatever. And then I would get $400,000 for my shares and you would get, I don't know, 2.4 million for yours or whatever it would turn out to be. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that could work. It would probably still crush every short in existence. Um, if they did it for like 10 bucks, then fuck you. <laughs> right? Like, pff, why? Uh, the one thing I think keeping them from doing it is I think they want to show just how fudged up this all is. They want to show everybody that they screwed up that the SEC, FINRA, the brokers all screwed up by letting these short hedge funds, basically, and market makers do whatever they want. And the more messed up it is, the more they can point to how it needs to be rectified. And then if they can have their, their shareholders get compensated at whatever price they feel is justified, then it destroys the short hedge funds, it destroys the prime brokers, and gives massive in incentive to Congress to fix this. Because if we have a global economic catastrophe because trillions of dollars in liability suddenly got recalled by a bunch of shareholders due to, due to just runaway short selling, then all the powers that be have to do something about these short sellers. They have to pass laws and make vast punishments for these short sellers. And that way, any new company someone starts, next bridge goes, moves on, whatever. They can't do it again, ever. Because we cannot afford to have this happen 
again and again and again and again. And now that retail investors know what's up, we have the most educated retail investors in history. We know more about this system than people who work in the system at this point. We st- we all we do is spend all day on Reddit and Twitter, like reading these legal documents and looking at derivatives lists and figuring about swaps and just you guys have so much information in your brains. It's basically all the PhDs at this point. And um, now the companies that are being shorted, they're reading our Reddit posts. They're reading the Twitter. They're reading all these blogs. And they're going, oh, we now have some mechanisms we can try to use to just fuck over these short sellers. We can do our reverse splits. We can issue uh, crypto dividends. We can become private. We can do all these weird little things that will just be like death of a thousand cuts to short sellers. And for two years now, short sellers are losing money like crazy. We have defeated the Minotaur, right? And they're desperately trying to figure out how to survive. Every single day, they're like, how how do I survive? How are we going to make it to tomorrow? And I think on Fridays, they go, whew, at least they got two days to figure out how to survive Monday. Um, so I, I, th- I think, I think it's working. I think we're getting in there. It's slow progress. It's, I would have loved much quicker progress, but to get the eyes of the public and elected officials truly focused on us, it's going to take a cataclysmic event. We need that catalyst. And, um, I think, you know, Rose's lawsuit is a great seed for that catalyst. And if others, you know, download her lawsuit, read through it, tweak it for themselves and fire on federal courts elsewhere in the country, and we start getting a whole bunch of those going. And those FINRA lawyers all of a sudden have to spread really thin to a dozen, a hundred different jurisdictions. Um, The likelihood of a lawsuit prevailing and them being forced in the open market to close our shares would be a thing of beauty. Oh my goodness, would it be gorgeous. And monkey butt, you would get your four-wheel drive RV out of it. That sound cool? Yeah, I know. I know. It sounds awesome. You're excited. I can tell just from the jumping up and down that you're doing right now. Terry Smith, I have Acme shares from Torch Divi. My broker doesn't allow OTC stock trading and never listed Acme for sale or purchase. Are my shares likely to be fake? And if uh, forced closing occurs, where do I stand? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I would call your broker specifically and ask if there's a way they can go to close only, because uh, other other broker other like trading apps that don't have OTC access. They could still switch those shares to close only. Um, I would ask. I, you know, even if you bought Torchlight pre-merger, right? The company is still being shorted like crazy. So there's a very high likelihood you purchased what were counterfeit shares back then. And then they swapped over, turned into... What was supposed to happen was when they turned into uh, Acme, MMTL, <clears throat> um, Torch was supposed to close their positions. And they didn't. They just... All the brokers went, okay, well, I guess all these synthetics are now called Acme as well. And then they said it and forget it. And you're like, la, 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 nothing, nothing big's happening. And then we had those two market makers uh, collude with each other and start a market trading it back and forth, which caused it to become available to trade for everyone. And um, John Berta and the board complained to FINRA and the SEC saying, hey, this isn't supposed to trade. It's in our filing that this is not allowed to trade over the market. And FINRA went, too late. Sorry. That was it. That was a response. Not like halt trading. It was like, well, cat's out of the bag. What are you going to do? And so more, I think more naked shorts were generated at that point. Um, and there's borrowing and lots of stuff. So, so they could they could have created synthetic, sold it to you, transferred it into Acme, and then borrowed your share out of your account because you can't do anything with it. You're in a trading app, right? And we're borrowing your shares and sending them out to other people. 
and uh, so they borrow synthetics to make more synthetics. I, it's just it's like turtles all the way down, just synthetics all the way down is kind of where I think we stand. <clears throat> you are the sauce boss. 